Well, hello there again, YouTube. This is Zoo Tycoon or Steve coming back with the official episode one of our new Let's Play. Uh, our Let's Play in our Challenge Zoo, and you can see that do 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 we have new objects available for purchase since we have officially attained the rank of half a star. Uh, officially, before we were a zero star zoo, uh, a zero star zoo, and now we are a big, old, powerful half a star zoo, which means that we're going to get our basic building materials up. So today we're going to focus um, the first part on using our new materials to go ahead and build a proper entrance for our zoo, not just uh, kind of an open walking area like we have here. And we're also going to put in an exhibit. I've played the animal carousel a little bit, and I think for today I'm going to use... Um, I'm going to use moose. Uh, we haven't done moose before, and I always like the idea of kind of putting a large mammal-ish creature up front, something that's very easy for the guests to see, really easy for them to attract, and I think mooses are going to be excellent for us, because they hit our price range just fine. Speaking of price range, before we begin our building today, we do need to take a look at the financial end. This is a challenge zoo. So how do you make money in a challenge zoo? Well, there are a few ways. Uh, number one, you can get donations. And if we check our donation box here, we can see oops, we can see that we're already getting in some educational donations. Uh, now the uh, Roosevelt Spoonbills, or Rosiette Spoonbills, I should say, uh, that we're using because they're not uh, coded 100% properly, people don't donate specifically for the Spoonbills. Uh, but we are picking up some pretty nice educational donations for them. And 82 on the back side. Uh, okay, so uh, basically there are two ways guests can donate. If they really like the animal, they'll donate specifically for the animal. If they find the uh, exhibit educational, then they'll donate for the exhibit. And one of the reasons we're probably getting such good donations, even though it's very early on, is that we do have this educator podium I put in. There is our very first employee. So Educator Buchanan probably is for that reason that this one already has 289, and this one's doing like 82 bucks. Uh, we should also see how we're doing in terms of sales. Um, so how does uh, sales work in this game? Well, you see, here is our drink stand, and it has a monthly upkeep of $25. That means in order to break even, for the drink stand to not cost us money, we need to sell $25 worth of drinks from it. And so far this month, we've sold a total of $24, so right now we're lifetime profits minus a dollar. And I think, yeah, we haven't sold any desserts, and we haven't sold any snacks. I think the reason for that might be just because, um, as I discussed in episode zero, the line of sight problem, our guests probably haven't been able to see all the way back here, so we might need to redesign our guest area to move the snacks like up here where they're easier to see. And let's check on our gift shop. And you see, oh, yeah, no purchases in the gift shop yet either. That's probably because um, we are just a half a star zoo, so no one's really going to buy just like the general merchandise that says zoo on it. Plus, we don't have any animals in yet that have specific merchandise for them. Um, if we check here, you can see that there are all the things that we sell in the zoo, and some of them are specific for animals, like people won't buy them. Like here is an orangutan backpack. Oh no, that's not an orangutan backpack. Here is a mountain gorilla backpack. We'll use that. So people will not buy that unless we have mountain gorillas in our zoo. I do believe, since moose are Zoo Tycoon 2 content, there is like a, I think it's a hat that people can buy with moose antlers on it. Uh, that's a wild dog puppet. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's in there somewhere. We'll find it. Um, so hopefully just putting in the moose will go ahead and boost our profits there. Uh, t -t -t -t. Yeah, I don't see it, but I'm almost positive there's a moose hat they can buy. Um, what else should I mention? Oh, we should probably check and see how we're doing on our challenges. Now, we did accept a challenge last time. I doubt we're going to hit it. The goal was for us to raise $1,500 uh, in donations during the 30-month period. So far we've raised $372.40. Uh, since there is only one animal, uh, I doubt we were going to hit that. But it's just sort of something that we can do passively, so I went ahead and accepted it anyway. But, uh, so that's all the plans. What I'm going to do is go ahead and build an actual entrance in this area here. It's probably going to cause us to move our gift shop a little bit, and like I said, I might also end up moving our stands, and then I'm going to build a nice big moose display, um, probably in this area here. 
And okay, that's going to be our plan. I'm going to go ahead and switch to the fast motion build mode, and I'll see you in just a few minutes.
Alright, I hope you all enjoyed that quick build process. At least, I hope it was a quick build process. Um, you may have noticed I didn't quite have an idea for what I was going to do with our opening here. But I do think it came up pretty well. I just kind of winged it and uh, played around, and I'm very happy with that. Um, I like that fountain there. I was not planning on that, but it came out well. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at our newly rebuilt zoo. And one of the first things you'll notice, of course, is that I had to move some stuff around, including our gift shop here. So that's probably not going to be its permanent spot, but that's a good place for it right out of the way. Moose one cannot reach food dish. We're going to actually have to pay attention. Oop, hold on. You've been approached by another zoo that's interested in obtaining one of your animals. In exchange for your animal, they would offer, would you like, hmm... See, this is interesting because a moose costs twelve hundred or twelve fifty, so I would instantly make money on that moose. But it's only a few hundred dollars, and I would lose a breeding pair. And since I am using the animal roulette thing right now, it might be difficult to get another moose back. Um, ironically, if we didn't have mods, I would do that because there would be so few animals available. It would be very easy for me to find another female moose. Um, but I'm gonna pass that. It's not worth the aggravation, I think, for what's you know, a couple hundred bucks. Uh, so I'll decline that one. But we do need to pay attention to these things now. It can't reach this water dish, is what it's telling me. And it says it's Moose 1 and Moose 2, which is interesting. I wonder if maybe that pathway is too narrow there. Let me go ahead and move this rock in a little bit and see if that lets them walk through. Uh, but speaking of our Moose 1 and Moose 2, Let's go ahead and switch down and take a look at our moose exhibit. And we can see it actually came out pretty nice, even though it's a very simple exhibit. Uh, it's not very decorated right now. I am still somewhat limited. Um, oh, they're just rubbing up against each other. I am still somewhat limited by um, the fact that we're still a half-star zoo. Um, but see, there he got to the water dish, so maybe that was good enough. Uh, of course, I also had to move both our Coke machine here and our ATM and bathroom. But more importantly, I had to move our food court from the back of the Roselt Spoonbill exhibit to the front of it. Let's go in here real quick while I'm thinking of the Roselt Spoonbills. We still haven't hired a zookeeper to take care of this for us, so we need to do all of our own scrubbing ourselves. And But we have this new food court moved up here. And you may be asking, was it really worth the time and effort to move that food court? Well, let's just go ahead and take a little peek. You'll remember, um, at the beginning of this video, the drink stand had almost made its money back, but nothing else had. So, if we check it now, you'll see the drink stand is uh, $47 in the green for the month. The food stand is already $59 in the green for the month. And the dessert stand hasn't made it yet, but it has made some purchases. It only needs 19 more dollars before the end of February. Uh, it's February 26th, so it's probably not going to make it this month, but I'm betting that next month it's going to turn a profit, so I'm not going to worry about that. Um, so definitely, it just helped moving it up to this area. So now that when a guest comes in, it doesn't have to walk all the way down to here to find the food. You can just find it right there. Uh, that's much easier. It's a place that they're going to be drawn anyway, since they're going to stop to see the moose, stop to see the spoonbills, and when they do their check again, if they're hungry, thirsty, whatever, boom, right there. And I even think the Coke machine? Is that making money? Yeah, even the Coke machine's making money now. So definitely improved our prospects there. Uh, I did just move this, so I don't think it's making anything yet. No, not thing yet for the gift shop. And have we gotten any donations from the moose? Yeah, we've already made 26 bucks and 60 cents off the moose. Uh, like I said, the moose costs 1200 each, so we need to make roughly, um, let's say, 2500 uh, before we can consider the moose display a success, which I imagine it will be. Uh, unfortunately, we won't have to rate animals that way. Um, if an animal is taking in so few donations that it's not covering the cost of purchasing that animal, uh, well, unfortunately, that means when that animal dies out, we're not going to be repurchasing them. We're going to be putting something else into its display, just like an actual zoo would have to. Um, we're already, like I said, whew, we've already knocked off over... $30,000 in our budget, and we're still a very, very small zoo, so we're definitely going to have to be budget conscious. Uh, what lies in store? What's the next episode? Well, it's pretty much going to be a um, figuring out what I'm going to do with this, the Rosette Spoonville area. Um, probably just going to be a beautification thing for the most part. Uh, I'm going to make a path 
that loops around the mooses, I think. And then we'll go ahead and put in another display somewhere. I haven't decided where. If you have an idea of what you want to see in the next display, if you have an idea of what the next animal should be, um, I'll show you what animals I currently have on the roulette. Uh, probably going to try to avoid the dinos, but I do have a wild boar. Uh, I don't need any more spoonbills. I do have, looks like a flatfish. I've got an African buffalo. Da 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 da. Our chickens. Wild turkeys. That's some type of extinct. And our dromedary camels. Um, a couple different good animals. I can always do a completely random shuffle, too. In fact, let's random shuffle. Um, so, we've got a bat eared fox. The blue winged kookaburra. Shetland ponies. Uh, looks like a red fox. Yep. Axis deer. Ammonites, which are extinct. Uh, some type of the Australian green frog. Yaks. Manta rays. A takin. A green, great Indian hornbill. And that's some type of dinosaur. So, those are going to be the options. I'll let you pick any one of the non-extinct animals uh, for whatever you want for our next display to be, and that'll be the deal. Since we're using the roulette, let's use the roulette. Uh, at the end of every episode, I will hit the uh, decline all button so we get a whole new set of them, read off what they are, and you let me know below what you'd like to see next time. Um, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you didn't enjoy this video, you don't have to say anything mean. You could just let me be. <laughs> Please, don't... Okay, I'm over it. Uh, thank you so much for spending your time with me today, and I will see you in episode two, where hopefully everything will make money instead of lose money like it did the first month. Goodbye!